Hi, welcome back. Um, now, similar to um, pop sorry, to tooltips, um, are things called popovers. Now, there's a couple of differences. One is that you can probably do more with a with a popover, in that you can start to add in some HTML, and um, you can also um, change the behavior so that when you click on the object, um, the popover appears, and then when you click on the object, it disappears. So rather than rely on a mouse over. Um, so there are some slight differences, and you can find out more about the differences when you have a look at the getbootstrap.com page in the, in the popover section. So just to remind you, here's an example. Um, you can add um, a, a title and a body, and it's slightly different. And you can also, as I say, again, position those popovers in slightly different ways. Now again, this section of the page gives you lots of information about creating and using popovers. There are lots of um, options, and you can really make them quite complex and, and powerful. But, e but even with a simple line of code, which is basically what we're going to use here, um, you can get popovers to be very powerful. But what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of images um, to the page, and we're going to add some popovers to those. So let's go in back into our code, into our page, I should say. And in this example, what we're going to do is just grab a couple of extra images. So we've got these images already, so we'll just copy these into our resources folder. Oops. So I've got a, a photo or an image here of the gas giants in the solar system and also an image of the inner planets. Um, I've slightly edited these to fit into the page, um, although I might need to edit them some more. But we'll have a look. Now, um, to add those into the, into the page, um, what we simply need to do is... Um, find the location that we're going to, to put them in. So first off, we're going to put the first one into the inner solar system, um, which was class, which was row uh, two. So we've got the inner solar system, and we're going to put this on the right-hand side. And in the, in the end, this will actually appear below the tabs. But until we put the tabs in, it will actually appear at the top. And we're going to put in um, an image. And we have a source for the image, which is one of the images we've just copied over. And we need, as always, to have an alt text for this image. And it will be the inner planets. And at the moment, we're going to leave it like that. But we're actually going to come back and add some more attributes in, in a moment, which will control our pop-up. So let's save that and we'll add the other image in. The, image, the other image is part of the solar of the outer uh, solar system. So that's in our third row, and we'll put it after the text. And the the code, the HTML code, looks like this. And again, if you've got a WYSIWYG editor, you can just drag this in. So there's our image to the gas giants, and we need an alt text, of course. The gas giants. And let's save that. Let's have a look at what that looks like. Okay, so we've got a, um, a an image of the inner planets, which is occurring on the right-hand side of our um, second row. 
and an image of the gas giant which appears on the left hand side of our third row. Now, nothing happens when we, when we click on those because we haven't initiated any popovers yet. So what we'll do is do that now. So we'll start with the top um, image and we're going to add a number of new attributes in here. The first one that we're going to do is to say data dash toggle equals popover. Now you may remember data dash toggle from when we did the, the window. Uh, in that case, we said data dash toggle equals modal. But this one is saying to, to Bootstrap, well, actually, I want this to be a popover. So this information is going to be relevant for a popover. Um, now, we want to add some HTML into this um, because I want to have a link in my popover. So I'm going to say data HTML equals true. And I want a title for my popover. So the title of my popover is going to say it's going to say the inner planets. And our positioning of the popover is going to be on the left. So we're going to say data placement equals left. Now that could be at the top, bottom, right or left. And the content then is the last thing that we need to add in. So the data content equals, I'll copy this from some code that I've already got, some text I've already got. Now, this is the content that's going to appear. It's basically going to say, from left to right, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars in true colour. Sizes to scale, interplanetary distance is not. And then I want a link to um, the page where I got this image from. Now, if I had HTML, data dash HTML, equals false then I wouldn't be able, this link wouldn't work. So I need to have this data dash HTML attribute in there in order to get that to work. So for our second image we're going to do something very similar and what I'll do is grab that content And we'll just make sure that's copied across OK. So again, we have a data dash toggle equals popover. We have data dash HTML equals true. This time the title is the outer planets. And this time our data placement is at the top. And our data content is from top to bottom, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn and Jupiter. And again, we've got this link and we can put that link in because data dash HTML equals true. So we've, by doing, by adding those attributes in, and all of that has come from the Get Bootstrap page, that exact that um, information, we can add popovers. But what we haven't done yet is initiate those popovers. And it's a very simple thing to do. What we do is go down to the bottom, and where we had our method for initiating tooltips, what we'll now do is add a second uh, line in that's going to initiate our um, pop -ups. So we're going to use dollar again and we're going to find specific elements in the page and we're going to apply a popover attribute. So what we're going to do is find 
everything in the every element in the page that has an attribute of data toggle where that attribute equals popover and then to that element we're going to add the popover behavior okay. so we can save that we'll reload the page and see what we've got there's our first uh, popover for the first image the inner planets from left to right Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars in true colour and there's our link and our link works and our second image when we click on that this time it appears at the top we have the outer planets from top to bottom Neptune, Uranus, um, Saturn and Jupiter Okay, so in a very simple way, we've managed to add in uh, popovers by using uh, some new attributes on an image um, that we've inserted into a page. So, as I say, again, that can all be done by dragging and dropping using uh, a WYSIWYG editor, but then going into the HTML and just adding those attributes in. Okay, in the next um, video, what we'll look at is adding in the um, last uh, couple of uh, items. Uh, we're going to look at uh, TAMS in the next one, an accordion um, item in the final one, or sorry, the penultimate one, and then after that, we'll have a look at uploading or, uh, the content into a, a Moodle learning management system. Okay, thanks.